Hello everybody, Jeremy Senpai here, and happy Pride Month 2024. <laughs> yes, we all are for equality here at Jeremy Senpai, and I'm bringing back the reaction videos, but I'm also doing this in a bit of a different way too. You know, trying to have some fun with it, not just watching something. And very surprisingly, I've reached out to a few of my friends who have suggested that I react to a couple of animated films. Now, um, some student animated films, some from CalArts and from other art colleges. And given the fact that's Pride Month, there are a few that are pro-LGBT I kind of want to react to. And so we'll be reacting to one called Drawn to You. Yes, that's what's called Drawn to You, an animated short film. So, let's get started, everybody. Drawn to You, let's now get on with it. Let's get on to the reaction, uh, get to see how I get to see how it all goes. And, <clears throat> sorry, just kind of going back and forth, don't really know what more to say. Um, going to see the reaction, at the end going to give my two cents. And let's get started, everybody. Oh. Ah, that's so cute. Wow. I really love all the colors and everything. Oh, come on. They're just holding hands. It's not a big deal. Really? They're just holding hands. Friends can hold hands. Really? Really, Mom? I gotta be like that. No. No. And... Does she look happy? Come on, you have to be able to see that. I mean, you can still put them back together. It's... Oh, hello there. Hi, little guy. Um, happy to meet you. She wants to get back with her little girlfriend. Hey, uh, flower stick guy. Okay, that is seriously cool. Oh, so... They need to be on the paper to survive. Oh boy. Well, how convenient. Okay, good idea. You gotta love post-it notes. They are lifesavers, literally. Ah, well, thank you so much, um, Miyako, Sword Slasher Miyako. Thank you very much. Okay, love that transition. Love all the different little animations right here. That is awesome. <laughs> thank you, uh, outline figure. You are great. Come on, straight shot. Almost there. Hey, that looks like Steven Universe and Soul Eater in the background. Soul Hunter, okay. Oh, oh man. This isn't good. Ha! Thanks guys. No no, stay with them. You're you're safe there. Careful. Careful. Yeah, we're alive. Help us. Do something. Don't. Don't. Nice save. 
Nice save there. That that was way too close. Ah, uh, this is seriously adorable. Oh, come on. It's not his fault he was drawn that way. Be nice to him. Okay, this is pretty cute, but honestly, just put them on a bigger piece of paper. That paper is torn in the mill. I mean, it still works, but... Director and writer Elnor David. Very cool. This is great. I really love this. Ah, cool. Oh, so she finally told her mom. Me and Julie, huh? Oh. I like this. Drawn to you by Emily C. By Sinika, School of Creative Arts and Animation 2019. Very nice, very nice. Mm, hold on. Okay, so that was Drawn to You. Um, I guess it was done by Emily C. Um, Either Emily C. is the name of the character, the art character, um, I mean the character who made the art, or because it's kind of a nice little fun reference there. There's a lot to digest right from this, uh, like from where we see the uh, artist character. Obviously, the two uh, characters that she drew, they were meant to represent her and Julie, who I'm guessing is her friend and or crush at the time. And of course, we see her struggle a bit, obviously trying to tell her mom, come out to her mom about this. Because, yeah, that is a major issue right there. I mean, her mother was, like, against the idea of two drawn characters holding hands. So, obviously, this wouldn't do well this wouldn't do well with um her own daughter i mean we saw that outright we saw that right there where her where her daughter just gives up you know because it's a nice little thing right there that artists do including writers where we project a little bit of our real life experiences into our art and I really, really like that. I like that concept. The fact that she put together this whole art book, probably about the adventures that her characters went through in order to be together. And I really liked all the little Easter eggs like Steven Universe and Soul Eater. Or at least I hope that those are references. They might be shows. I don't, the shows in her world, I don't think that they are art that she made herself. Except for Sword, uh, Sword Slasher Miyako that we saw there. It might be a reference to Revolutionary Girl Utena. I'm not really sure about that. Correct me if I'm wrong, what are your thoughts? I personally think that Miyako might actually be her own creation. And if so, I love that. I really do. Anyway, I really loved Drawn to You. I think it is a wonderful, wonderful story. And you know what? There's definitely a lot of other short films on here I want to react to. I'm kind of going to be on and off MASH for a while. I mean, MASH is great, but they've got a lot to react to, and there are other things I want to watch. Anyway, I, I don't really have much more to say. Just thank you all so very much, and as usual, if you like what you see, feel free to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Every little bit helps the channel. Also, I want to point out that I recently started doing a super thanks. So, for any videos, especially around premiere time, if you like it very much, then you are more than welcome to shoot me a super thanks if you want. It's, it's entirely your choice. I just felt like I should share that. But anyway, happy Pride Month, everybody. Yes, here at Jeremy Senpai, we are all equal. At least in my eyes, you are all equal. Okay? Time sign off. Until next time, peace.